Hi YouTube, today I wanted to share with you the weekly checklist that I use for my son as he's going through his homeschool assignments. I mentioned this briefly in my curriculum review video and so I wanted to do a specific video on this um, and see if it would help some of you out. So I have a couple of different ones. I'm going to show you um, what I'm planning to use for next year and then what I used for kindergarten. So I'm going to put this kind of kindergarten one right here in front of me. Um, this came out of necessity maybe, I don't know, three or four weeks into our school year last year when we started in July. Um, when I did all of my lesson plans, I wrote them out in my lesson plan book right here, which I can link to the video if you want to see more about this. Then as we were going through the day, I was looking at my plan book and deciding what we were going to do next. But my son didn't really have any idea of, you know, kind of what all he was supposed to be finishing before we were done for the day. Um, and even though he's only in kindergarten this year, I still wanted him to kind of have that sense of independence or that sense of these are the things I have to accomplish and then I can move on with my day. Um, so I talked to several homeschool moms that I know that are more veteran with their kids than I am. Um, and I thought back to kind of my own experiences. I looked on Pinterest and I couldn't find anything that was just done. So I kind of took the best of all of those things and created something um, of my own. I created this in an Excel spreadsheet um, and I am more than happy to share this. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, I can save it as a PDF and just make a super basic one um, or I can try and send you the Excel document and you can play around with it. But I'm happy to share it. It's just something that I created that is working for us. So obviously his information is up here at the top and then I write the week. This first column is just for events that we have that week that might interfere with kind of his typical school day. My kindergartner likes to know what's going on that week um, and what things might kind of throw off when we normally have school time. So things that I would put on that calendar um, would be events that we go to at our civic center, so plays, musicals, that kind of thing. Um, if my youngest daughter has therapy in the morning, I usually write that on his schedule just so he knows how many days we're going to be doing that kind of thing. Um, if we're going to Bible study at church, so that way he just kind of has an idea of what his week is going to look like. So that's just for him kind of in his personality. Then I'm going to kind of try and zoom in here on the middle part, which is the most critical. And this is his schoolwork. So I've listed down the side the subjects that we cover. And then across the top, I just put the days. We only school four days a week. And I've really gotten away from labeling those days. And that gives us flexibility. We typically school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday is our run errands, catch up from the weekend, get ready for the week kind of day. But there's some weeks that that doesn't happen. So I don't always be tied to a day and then feel like it looks wrong. So I just label it as day one, two, three, and four. So each row then has a little box where I write his assignments and then it has a small box where he can check them off. So I would just write in what he's doing for Bible all the way across. I try and fill this out at the beginning of the week that way. Sometimes with things like handwriting, if the pages are short, he'll do a couple at a time and then he marks off each page. Um, some of the boxes obviously I've left blank so I can write things in. Some of them I kind of give myself a reminder and then I don't have to write lesson 112, you know, a million different times. So I've given myself a few clues there. The gray boxes are days that he doesn't do those things. So we usually just do a science experiment or something fun on Fridays. Um, sometimes we talk about other things during the week, but we don't have a set science curriculum this year. History, we usually do two days on and two days off. Same thing, geography, we do once a week. Critical thinking, we do once a week. And art, we do once a week. That way I don't have to write nothing in all those boxes and he knows when it's gray it's nothing that he has to check off so he works from this list every day as he's going through his school work um sometimes he forgets till the end of the day we're getting far enough in the year that he kind of knows what to do um but he'll just go through at the end and check them off sometimes he likes to check them off every time it just kind of depends on the day and on his mood then on the bottom part of this um i did not do a great job of following through with this part of it this year. So I'd really like to improve next year. These are habits that we want him to start developing, having his own quiet time, working on his memory verse, completing his chore pack, which they do in the morning, which is basically getting dressed, making their bed, brushing their teeth and doing their morning chore, which they help with cleaning the bathroom in the morning. 
practicing their piano and then reading for fun. I would like him to start checking these things off. We've talked about tying it to some form of allowance, but I don't know. That just doesn't seem right to me yet, so I'm not ready for that part of it. But I would like him to start working on those habits. Then over here, I'm going to try and zoom in again because I know this font is um, tiny on my camera. These are things that we want him to be working on. His attitude and behavior, turning in quality schoolwork, showing brotherly love, working diligently, and then in our house our rule is you have to obey quickly, completely, and cheerfully. So that's the one at the very bottom. Then at the end of the week I'd like to have him start self-assessing and then I'll kind of give him an assessment. So he knows when he sometimes has bad weeks and when he has good weeks. So just for him to kind of see those things. So that's what his kindergarten sheet looked like this year. So that's a blank one, just so that way you don't have to look at all of my chicken scratches. Um, this year I just printed them. Again, we didn't start doing this at the beginning of the year and I made a lot of changes at the beginning. So I punched them. And then as he finished them up, this is his calendar, daily calendar notebook that he works through. Um, and so I just punched them and put them all in the back. So there's a couple examples of completed ones. That looks like one I did check marks on because those are very nice. There's lots of scribbling and that's totally fine. But that way I can go back and look. Next year what I'm planning to do is have this set. And then like you saw in my planner, planner, take them in and have them spiral bound for him so that it's all in one place and he can just kind of grab and go. The clipboard has worked, so I don't know. I might not do that, but that's kind of what my thought is. Just really quickly then, this is the one for next year that he'll be using for his kind of first grade year. Very similar um, with the calendar at the top. He does have a few more subjects that are added in. I didn't have enough room for music, geography, critical thinking, and art to have their own row. But since we do those things once a week, that just became kind of the extra row at the bottom um, because then we added in spelling, grammar, and writing. So that kind of took the place of those three other rows. He's not doing phonics next year. He'll finish up Explode the Code online um, as we're finishing up the school year and maybe a day or two into the summer. Um, then the bottom has stayed the same. Quiet time, work on a sparks first, short pack, practice piano, reading for fun. I reorganized these over here a little bit in order of importance, maybe a little bit more. But it looks basically the same for first grade. So this just gives him a better visual idea of the things that he needs to be doing every day. Next year in first grade, his middle sister will be doing more definitive preschool. So I need him to kind of have that little bit of independence. Um... He obviously isn't going to do all of this on his own, but the more I can get him thinking and get him in the mindset of these are the things I need to accomplish before I'm done, every little bit of that helps me. So this has worked really well for us. It's not a perfect system. This isn't probably my final draft for next year for first grade. I tweak things up until the very last second because that's just um, part of my OCD personality that I wanted to be exactly perfect but I'm just working with them like sitting here looking at this I noticed that these boxes are darker than these gray boxes and that bothers me so I'll change some of those things if you're interested in a copy of this somehow or if you have a good suggestion for sharing it please let me know um, and I'll try and get you a copy of this and see if it would be helpful for you as well thanks so much